Tonight, look out, the newest species of spider is in South Carolina. Oh, we first told you about this in the spring, that Joro spiders are making their way to the upstate. The spider that is native to Asia first popped up in Georgia about 10 years ago. Fox Carolina, Zach Polutsky, live in studio tonight with those uh, creepy crawlers. Yeah, he went searching for some of those Joe spiders today. And Zach, we understand you did not bring any back with you, correct? Thank goodness. You left them there. Not that I know of. Oh. I'll have to go check the car after correct. this. But <laughs> think about this. This year, Joe sp spider sightings have happened as early as mid-May. But it's this time, the late summer, early fall, when the adult females are at their biggest. And yes, definitely their most noticeable. It's very fair to say that we will see more Joe spiders in the upstate in the coming years. It's fair to say that there's a lot of them around. South Carolina's newest spider is here. It's yellow and gray striped. It's kind of like yellow and gray wavy, wavy pattern there. The Joro spiders are invading the upstate in bigger numbers. But Dr. David Coyle says they are no threat to people or pets. I don't think there's anything to worry about. They're, yeah, they can be high populations, and yeah, they can be a nuisance, but they're not going to fly in and, and do anything crazy like that. While walking through the botanical gardens in Clemson... Got this web, and you've got some of these great big golden strands. Here is one here. We found four different Joro spiders in their golden-colored webs, walking just a few hundred yards. It was gross. <laughs> Disgusting. Scary. The only real concern for coil is what impact they could have on other species. Joro spiders, the way their populations seem to be increasing, really it seems highly likely that they're going to just push out a bunch of these native ones. Now we don't know for sure. Uh, there's a group of spider biologists and you know we're trying to figure this out. We're trying to monitor populations of Joro spiders and native spiders kind of side by side to see what happens. That could hurt the ecosystem, but more research needs to be done. In the meantime, if you see one on a walk or in your yard or garage, Coyle says it's best to leave the spider alone or move it away, not just the web. But everyone deals with those situations in their own way. I would probably kill it, for sure, yeah. just in case you're going to get more. Now, we asked on our Fox Carolina Facebook page yesterday for people to share any photos if they've seen any Joro spiders in their yards. Well, nearly every single picture we got sent was actually a different type of spider, something more common to the upstate, the garden or riding spider. And coming up tonight at 11, we'll break down the difference between the two species and what you should know about this beast. Justin and Tori.